Now, one of the rare occasions where socks with sandals is entirely inappropriate is when you need to dig your car out of a bog. And uh, this following tutorial will show you exactly how to do so. Right, the first thing is to put things under the driven wheels, like this slab. And I'm going to find some sticks in the nearby wood here to help spread the load under some of the wheels and that way they don't sink any further once they begin to gain traction so I'm going this particular car is rear-wheel drive with only summer tires on not the best case scenario but nonetheless <sighs> uh, snap some wood put it underneath okay and what we're going to do initially is reverse then to rock backwards and forwards just a few inches each time until we gain traction Good. Oh, that was the best one yet. Oh, and we're moving there, moved a lot there. The idea is not to dig the rut any deeper, but to actually carve out the front and back walls of the existing rut. I'm standing on the brakes each time I reach the top of both the front and the back ramps in order to change gear and then use those ramps as a run-up to uh, get out the other side as quickly as possible and then stand on the brakes again, repeat the process, forward and back and so on. Careful not to spin in the actual head of the centre of the rut itself. turning the wheels one way going back and the other way going forwards and this way I keep finding new ground that hasn't yet been dug into a rut uh, to aid traction for the driven wheels. This helps maintain ground clearance as if you do bottom out and beach the car will simply become a two ton modern art sculpture in the middle of the forest.
Now forwards. And oh, we're almost out. Now that short burst of momentum has stopped, I'm going to build another base camp here for the final ascent. And the idea is to distribute the weight over a larger area. Now, uh, if this doesn't work, you can always reduce the tyre pressures. But uh, I think I can get it out without even reducing the tyre pressures on this occasion. And... Um, a word to the wise is uh, <laughs> shut your door while you're reversing. Okay. And we're clear. And that's how that's done. But the trick is, don't drive into the damn thing in the first place. But there is more you can do. If you have footrest carpets, you can put them under the tires. You can let the tire pressures down. You even have a tow rope with you in case a passerby can uh, drag you out. That's just one person moving a two-ton car on two-wheel drive with summer tyres. So before you get back on the road, test your brakes. Don't make any sharp turns until all of the mud has gone off the tires and top up the tires if necessary with air. Happy and safe motoring. Change these socks now, and it's not going anywhere. 